Hello, fourth grade. It's uh, double digits of our number talk series, week 10. Um, <clears throat> this week we'll be focused on fractional reasoning. Um, actually, more specifically, what we're going to look at is, let's just imagine that all we care about for this week is which of these three images is, is one-eighth, is what we're going to, I mean, this isn't obviously you work with one-eighth, one-third, one-sixth, you know, you'll be working with other things, but I'm just saying, which of these models represents one-eighth? So stop the video right now, and let's label this one A, let's label this one B, let's label this one C, and be able to say um, which ones are one-eighth, and if, if one of them or two of them are not one-eighth, be able to say why, and which ones are one-eighth, be able to say why, um, before you continue the video. So I hope you took the time to stop it. Um, and challenge yourself to think through it because that's really where the learning takes place. So if you still haven't taken the time to look at A, B, and C, stop it now. I'll give you a second chance. If you did, that's awesome, and let's move on. So let's look at A. So A, I'm led to believe that that's one-eighth. And I'm led to believe that's one-eighth because I know that the blue is one part shaded out of eight total possible parts. So one-eighth of my sh object is shaded in. When I come to B and I come to the green, and I say, well, if I, if I thought about this, well, couldn't I break this down to have it be the same shapes as above? So I still have one of those out of a total of eight of them. You know, again, be willing to draw if that's what's going to help you. That's why it's an area model. Um, now, the C one, C one's funny. That is one part out of eight or shaded. There's a small catch, though. That one part out of eight doesn't represent the same size to make it, this, to make it a one-eighth. It actually is a fraction. I believe it to be three-sixteenths, and let's see if that's correct. So let's draw an arrow like that. I didn't mean to say an arrow, I meant to say a line. Let's draw a line like that. Let's say a line like that. Um, realize this is technically shaded in yellow. So this right here is technically yellow. Okay. Um, and if we thought about it and we broke this up, well, that means we have one, two, three parts shaded out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is actually a fractional amount of 3 sixteenths, not 1 eighth. Because when we look at them as equivalent parts, we realize the parts that the yellow takes up three parts when we actually break it into smaller units. So I'm hoping that helps you give a little bit better understanding of the fractional reasoning. This is something we'll continue to play around with for, for a good chunk of the year. Um, and it's one of those things, you know, please come see um, Mrs. Culleton, Mrs. Hunt, or um, Mr. Pacheco, or come talk to me, um, you know, see Dr. Um, Chu, I mean, see Mr. Bruce, I mean, you know, come see anybody um, if this is something that's confusing, because it's always nice to have somebody else explain to you how they see it too, because you know, and, and obviously, please, please, I would hope your first priority would be take advantage of a friend and ask them first. But if you want to ask an adult beyond mom and dad or Grandma Gertrude or Uncle Fred, um, you know, please come see one of us so we can continue to keep this conversation alive. Okay? Thank you.